Hi everyone, Jay Sennett. Welcome to another edition of Cooking with Jay from the Jazz Kitchen. As always, hope all of you are doing well. Thanks for watching the show. Today I'm going to show you how I make, well, one of my barbecue sauces. I love making my own barbecue sauce. So this is the Jazzy J version of barbecue sauce. Now, the history of barbecue sauce is it's very, very interesting. I mean, it goes back when uh, wine and vinegar was introduced to sugar and molasses and then to the uh, Mexican region where the hot peppers were introduced. And you have, and, and each region seems like it, it has its own version of barbecue sauce. You have the South Carolina version, which is kind of a, a German-based barbecue sauce, kind of mustardy. You have North Carolina barbecue sauce, which is kind of uh, a little sour, a little bitter. Um, also, the textures of the barbecue sauces can, can vary. Some can be more watery, some can be more thick and sticky. You have Texas barbecue sauce, which is pretty much tomato-based uh, barbecue sauce. Uh, they can vary in heat. Again, they can vary in texture, some more watery, some more thick, some more sticky. Uh, I like the brown sugar, which offsets the acidity of the tomatoes, that kind of thing. So there's so many different ways you can go with this and how you make your barbecue sauce. So in my Jazzy J version of barbecue sauce, I kind of, <laughs> it's the sweet with the brown sugar, it's the tangy because I use some vinegar. Um, it's kind of uh, sticky because of that sugar in there. Uh, it's kind of there's some heat because I use some chili powder um, and some Tabasco sauce. <laughs> so I kind of combined all of them together in how I make my sauce. So I'm going to show you how I make my sauce. And it's summertime now, so a lot of people are grilling out. And if you see a rerun of this show like in January, <laughs> it's just, just no. All right, this was, this was taped in... July of, of 2022. So we're going to go over here to the stove and I'm going to show you how I put my barbecue sauce together. All right. All right. Let's go over here to the stove. <clears throat> okay. So here I have about a cup and a half of some ketchup. All right. Ketchup. Yes, there's vinegar and ketchup and some other things, but I'll use that as a base. Okay, turn my heat on low for now. All right, now brown sugar. All right, I want to rinse off my spoon here. Brown sugar. I'm using about a cup and a half of the ketchup. I don't know, maybe a half a cup of light brown sugar. Okay. Now, I want to add some smoked paprika, about a tablespoon of some smoked paprika in here, okay? And, let's see, now we have about a teaspoon and a half of some chili powder. All right, chili powder. Now we have about a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, even though there's a little bit of vinegar in the ketchup, okay? Now I'll have about a tablespoon and a half of Worcestershire sauce. All right. Then we have about a teaspoon each of garlic powder and onion powder in here. A teaspoon each. I'm going to add some salt. A healthy dose of salt. Now salt, keep in mind, is already in the ketchup. Okay. So you don't want to put too much of that. Now I'm going to add some Tabasco sauce. How much? Well, that's on you. I like to put maybe uh, at least a tablespoon, at least. Depends on how much heat you want. All right, it's not going to give you a ton of heat. All right. Now, the other good thing about this, this sauce, is that you can adjust the seasonings. Okay. Start it on low heat, not too low. And you want to make sure everything is blended well. 
and it gets smooth. You can see how that's smoothing out now. I still have a little bit of the lumps of the brown sugar in here, but they will dissolve. And it's about the consistency of the ketchup, actually. There's nothing that I put in here that's going to change the consistency that much. But I, I'm not personally a fan of runny, watery barbecue sauces. Um, I kind of like mine to where it's um, somewhat thick, but not, not too thick, okay? Where it can kind of just like run off the spoon like that. And now what can you use it for? Well, barbecue sauce, grilling, smoked meats, fried foods, you could use this on some fried foods, uh, grilled foods, smoked, what kind of meat, chicken, fish, yes, I use some barbecue sauce on fish, uh, pork of course, you know, that's another thing, too. When all these flavors were merging, the wine, the vinegar, the sugar, the molasses, which makes sugar, brown sugar brown, right, the molasses, and the, the peppers, the spices, you know, the pig was introduced <laughs> in the southern part of the United States, right? You know, you had the Caribbean introducing uh, the, the, the cane sugar and the molasses, you had Spain with colonization uh, bringing over the wine and the vinegar. Then you had Mexico and the southern part down there bringing up these uh, spicy peppers. And, um, and then they were cooking the pig. So pork was probably the first meat that was used with barbecue. And, and again, the sauces vary from region to region. Now. I'm going to taste this, all right? <laughs> wow. You know what I'm going to add? Rinse the spoon. It's a good kick to it. I'm going to add a little bit more of this brown sugar, okay? A little bit more of the brown sugar. <clears throat> And it has enough salt. Okay, I'll try this now. Rinse this. I think I already did. I don't want to double dip. Get that from boiling and popping. Yep, that's a good flavor. You will have to adjust a little bit um, to get it right to your liking, okay? But turn this off to keep this from boiling everywhere, getting everywhere, all over the stove. Now, this right now, it has the tanginess because of the vinegar. It has a, a subtle sweetness. I actually want to add a little bit more brown sugar to this to sweeten it up just a little bit more. It has the heat of the Tabasco sauce and the chili powder. It has the smokiness of the paprika. I put smoked paprika in here. Uh, I put some Worcestershire sauce in here and Tabasco sauce for the heat. Um, I can also add just a pinch more salt in here. Just, just a little bit more salt. And I think I will have it to my liking, my Jazzy J's barbecue sauce. And again, you can use it on grilled foods, um, smoked pork, steaks, right? Chicken, fish. This is my food item for today on this edition of Cooking with Jay. So what I'm going to do, I showed you how to make this. Tabasco sauce, uh, ketchup, you start with some ketchup, some brown sugar, 
some smoked paprika, Worcestershire sauce, some apple cider vinegar, uh, some garlic powder, garlic salt, uh, about a tablespoon each of those, some salt, uh, some chili powder, I think I said smoked paprika, Tabasco sauce, and I don't know. If I'm forgetting something, you can run it back a little bit and, and check it out. So Jazzy J's barbecue sauce for whatever uh, meats you're, whatever proteins you're putting together on your grill or your roasting or whatever. I think it's going to be a tasty addition to your to your menu. I'm Jay Sennett. Thanks for watching Cooking with Jay. Heard or viewed. <laughs> starting at 6 p.m. Sunday evenings on the WHO Public Media Facebook page. Don't forget about my jazz show, Send It In Session, on 89.5 WHRV-FM, Monday through Thursday nights from 9 until 1, Saturday mornings 1 until 5, Sunday afternoons from 1 until 5. Great jazz, folks. I always have a great variety of jazz on the program. And I host the very soulful R&B Chronicles. If you like classic soul music, Friday nights on WHRV from 7 until 8. And uh, I think that's it. I'm going to go pr put my chicken on the grill. I'm going to make some smoked Gouda mashed potatoes and put together a nice salad. going to have a great dinner with my Jazzy J barbecue sauce. All right. Be safe, friends. Till the next edition of the show. We'll see you then. Take care.